Hello and thank you for joining us. Got another piece. This is one of my um, super cheap tactical, tactical katanas. A uh, short sword katana machete, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, in that category, I love the category of blades where it's hard to put them into a category, so to speak. Like these bad boys, this is a really easy one to carry around. Comes with a little, you know, back sheath. Not the most heavy duty. Comes with two little tactical throwing knives. They're cute. Uh, don't know how much I'd recommend those. Is actually trying to use them as throwing. I think you might just annoy something. But anyhow, they are sharp. We're gonna set that down. Uh, these bad boys are super cheap, like I said. Spend 15 bucks, 20 bucks on one of these. If you're lucky, um, I've seen them try to get them some for hire, but I, I wouldn't take it. I really like the ring, a little uh, ring pommel, or really just an extension of the tang. Nice, solid, full tang all the way through. A little cord handle wrap. I'm not a, the biggest fan of uh, this handle. It's a little uncomfortable in a bare hand, but with a glove, I do fine. Um, just looks really cool, you know. Uh, it's, it's, I consider it a short sword, but, you know, for a machete, it's actually kind of nice and long. Anyways, um... Let's see how it does, you know, since uh, I like to call these short swords, but start with a two-handed, more sword-like attack. You wouldn't normally put two hands on a machete, unless it's a two-handed machete. Alright, so we got a good cut there. Not bad. Alright, not a bad cut so far. I'm going to go ahead and try a machete-style cut. We're just going to do a one-handed, see how it does. clean off. These things come pretty sharp as is. I haven't had to do any sharpening on it. Um, uh, this is in my uh, super cheap uh, tactical katana machete uh, short sword review video. Uh, check out that. I did a whole bunch of other ones. We on uh, a few others. I'm going to try to get around to doing cuts with all of them. Let me know what you think of them. That was a one one-handed cut. Not so bad. Let's see if I could come across this way. There you go. See that there? Try to turn that. You can see. Definitely got some spillage. Alright, let's get that left hand involved. See what else I can pull off. A little awkward with the uh, gauntlet. But, still got another cut. Very nice. So, we're going to go to a thicker plastic. Um, not really more mass, but the plastic, when it's a little thicker, tends to be more of a challenge. Uh, one of my, uh, gripes about these kind of pieces, these blades, is just, uh, they don't have a lot of mass behind them, you know, they're super light, which is great. It makes it real easy to port around and carry, and, you know, you can almost do your thing all day with these things, and you're not going to really get fatigued, but is that they don't carry a lot of mass, so they don't necessarily always commit the most authority in your cuts. So I'm going to try on a thicker plastic, see if I can uh, translate a good cut. There goes the top. Uh, definitely was able to cut through. Let's, let's move on to a, a thicker plastic. Sorry about the noise in the background. It's uh, gardening day. Let's try this thicker plastic, see what we can do. So, like I guessed, not much if anything. I got a little cut right here, but they didn't really penetrate. There's not enough force. Alright, so, let's move on. Let's see what kind of thrust work we can get out of this. That's a nice looking point. I think that'll definitely do a good thrust. Two hands, all body. Oh yeah, like butter. Alright, let's try single handed. Alright, definitely one in. Definitely one in, cut through, pierced on both of them. Got one there, one there. Let's try it long ways. This time I'm gonna come in from the left side. Yep, fully through. Let him ride the blade down. What do you think of that? Just like an anime. Once again, sorry for the noise. So, on my last test, I did a uh, steampunk tactical katana 
and um, it failed on me when we got to here. Cutting bottles is one thing. Putting a sword up against another hard, solid target that it's not really meant to go against. Let me say that again. Even in the videos I do when I do this, swords aren't really meant for this. They're not meant to chop wood or hack into wood. Anyhow, that being said, I feel it's good to do a little testing um, just because I feel a good sword can handle tests like this, can handle the stress. Um, the last one I did was the uh, Steampunk Tactical Machete, uh, Katana Machete, again, um, and it really wasn't the blade. It had an impressive blade. The blade did not fail on me in that test. It snapped on the tank. Uh, with these, by comparison, these super cheap tactical, tactical uh, short sword uh, katana machetes or just short sword machetes um, they tend to have a, a full tang all the way through you know it's all one solid piece it's not that one was a, a nice blade you know a nice high carbon steel blade and then it looked like stainless steel uh, for the handle and tang they, they just kind of welded it on and I guess they did a crummy welding job I've seen some decent welding jobs where, where the stress can handle but that one did not anyways the reviews on this one today one of the things I like about these is that they do come pretty solid even for just 440 stainless so first we're just going to do a few little hacks all right definitely chopping in there's not a lot of weight behind this so it really doesn't make the best machete it doesn't really uh commit a lot of authority but you know it's still still solid i don't have any any warping you can see the blade is still straight edge Still pretty good. I don't see any rolls or cracks or dents along the edge. All right. So I'm gonna give it one good, one good serious chop. This is where the last one failed. So wish me luck. And all right, there you have it. One nice deep cut into there, if you can see. And this piece is still intact still ready to go still ready for battle this is going to make a nice gift or you know a uh, nice prize to someone if you do some melees you know or just if you're a beginner and you want to get your hands on a blade and do some good good uh, cut, cut testing and some good cuts learn how to learn some uh, of the fundamentals of cutting this is a good piece to start with you're not really going to lose out on this one um, I, I really like the uh, the bottom a lot of these uh, style swords will sometimes have really uncomfortable handles, the pommel will be uncomfortable, edged. This ring pommel is really, really good on the hands. These two little knobs are a nice little guard to kind of keep your hand from riding up and catching the blade, and that, that really helps and assist in the cuts. There's not much anything really for hand protection. Um, I'm not really sure what you'd use that for. Uh, this design is just cool, no real function. Uh, ultimately, it's just a short tanto edged you know, uh, katana, nin ninjato, maybe, you know, straight, straight edge katana. Um, but it really works. I think someone's really going to like this if they get it. All right, uh, let me know what you think so far. Um, I forgot I'm going to do a stab into a harder target now. Let's see how we do on that. damage no blunting to the tip you can see that there pretty impressed but let's really test it and see what it'll do in a cut again now that we have maybe dulled it a little bit even fresh it gave me a little challenge on thicker plastic so I'm just gonna start with a nice thick plastic for a post torture test cut <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this bad boy. Go ahead and check out the review on the other super cheap swords that I loaded up. Uh, Night Guy, thank you for joining us.